In this project, I'll show you how to make this fun, easy necklace hanger, jewelry hanger. It's got five hooks, it's personalized, and you can hang it on the wall, and you can have all of your necklaces, chains, watches, bracelets, all organized, ready for you to go. The materials you'll need for this project are, you'll need your three by five inch wood plaque, unfinished wood. This is a sanding block, one picture hanging hardware. I'll be using five square hooks, Mod Podge, two foam brushes, acrylic paint of your choice with a matching uh, scrapbooking paper. I've cut this scrapbook paper down to fit my square block. This is uh, three inches, four inches by two inches, and you'll need your drill and drill bit. We'll start this project off with just a little bit of light sanding on our wood block here, just to even out the rough edges. Next, we'll paint our wood block with a little bit of acrylic paint here. And really, I'm just gonna go for the sides, but really you could just paint the whole, the entire surface. And my scrapbooking paper will cover the front, so I'm really just gonna paint mostly the sides. Give it a nice even coat of paint here. And we'll let this dry completely and we'll be right back. And we're back. We have allowed our green paint to dry completely now. And now we're gonna add our scrapbook paper to the front of our jewelry hanger. Now I'm just gonna use a little bit of Mod Podge uh, just across the top of the plaque. I'm putting on a medium, even coat of Mod Podge right across the top of this plaque. And then I'll add my scrapbooking paper right on top, position that, smooth that down with my fingers, and then I'll add another medium thin even layer of Mod Podge right on top. And we'll let this dry for about 15-20 minutes and we'll come back and put on another coat. As you can see, our Mod Podge has dried completely clear. And now we're just gonna add just a little bit more Mod Podge, another just thin layer, uh, just to seal it all in, let this dry. Um, and then we will move on to our next step. We have now allowed our Mod Podge to dry completely clear, and we are ready to move on to our next step, which is drilling the holes we need for our hooks and also uh, the back of our um, hanger here. On the back of my wooden plaque, I have marked off the midpoint of my plaque, and then I have placed my picture hanger hardware in place so I know where I want to drill to get my picture hanger in the middle. Now, when I printed out my name on the scrapbooking paper, I also figured out where I would like to put my necklace hooks as well. So what I've done is in the middle, I have one necklace hook and then I've got three-fourths of an inch on either side. I've got them spaced out about three-quarters of an inch uh, from each other all the way across. And I've got five hooks here. Uh, so now I'm gonna take my drill and I'm gonna drill small pilot holes um, for the picture hanging on the back and also the five um, hooks on the front. I'm not gonna drill all the way through, um, but I do have a small piece of scrap wood here uh, just in case I do. All right, so this is for the back picture hanger. And then I'll go through and drill holes for my necklace hooks. Now we're ready to move on to our next step. 
In this step, we'll be adding the picture hanger to the back of our plaque here. So I've already, um, I, in the last step I drilled a small hole and now I've got my screwdriver and my picture hanger in place and I'll just screw it down with this uh, small screwdriver here. So we have that in place now, ready to hang. And then on the front, we will be adding our hooks and we just take our screw hooks and we just uh, turn them in. And we'll repeat this for the other hooks. And here we have our finished project, a little uh, hanging personalized plaque for our necklaces or our jewelry. And we can hang this on the wall. And it makes a great gift as well. But also a fun project, easy project for us to do.